Alright, hello everyone and welcome to AEW Discussion. I'm your host, AEW Enthusiast, Dougie Doug. In today's episode, I'm going to discuss Dynamite, November 2nd, 2022 episode. So in this episode of Dynamite, well, I'll be honest, on a great scale of hit, miss or meh, it was kind of a miss of an episode, I mean, not really a whole lot of good things going on. Blackpool Comic Club vs. Jericho Appreciation Society for whatever strange, dumb, reason is continuing honestly that feud is probably beyond its shelf life it is beyond expired and it's also the most boring thing in all of professional wrestling um and uh <laughs> yeah but this, this uh, episode of dynamite did have some good things going forward in a way so we'll go ahead and get into that and uh yeah we're going to get right into the action Starting with an AEW World Championship Eliminator match, John Moxley versus Lee Moriarty. Uh, so last week, the firm left John Moxley laying in the ring, and on this and on Wednesday, Lee Moriarty would get the chance to continue the faction's recent dominance in a World Championship Eliminator match. So the talented young wrestler controlled the match, controlled the match throughout the break, but Moxley weathered the storm, overcame the impressive technical skill of his motivated opponent and tapped him out. Now, there wasn't any time for Moxley to celebrate as Ethan Page would attack him before standing tall alongside Moriarty and Stokely halfway to close out the segment. Match was good, but it would have been better if Moriarty had some momentum on his side going into it. He had no chance of winning and the fans knew it. That's why they started the uh, MVP chant for Lamar Jackson. They were so... or no, that was, that was the opening segment of the match. But yeah. Fan, fan, fans kind of knew what to expect with this one. It looks like Paige is up next for Moxley as the television program with the firm continues on route to a showdown with him to get up at full gear. And that should be a good match if nothing else. And at the very least, one member of the Blackpool Combat Club is doing something new. I just wish it the same could be said for the rest of them. Like, can we please move on from the BCC versus JAS feud? Let's have the BCC feud with the, feud with the firm. Um, but yeah, looks like Moxie's in, but it looks like Moxie's gonna take him on all by himself. So you can check off Moriarty. So you, in the very least, yeah, you can check off Moriarty off the list. Uh, then you have the Daddy Ass Birthday Bash. So the Acclaim would celebrate Billy Gunn's birthday in Baltimore with an in-ring segment that was amusing, like their segments usually are. And then you had the Gun Club get involved, um, and FTR would make the save, and a stare down commenced. Um, yeah, the reason. The reason why FTR got involved because the gun was gun to cost them a match last week that basically prevented them from becoming number one contenders. Um, so overall, there was not much to this segment, but the acclaim is entertaining and charismatic, and the crowd appeared to have fun with the segment. So I guess there's that. Um, however, it was interesting that uh, the number one contenders, Swerve and Glory, were absent in the segment. Instead, they were in a backstage segment with Rick Ross, where it appeared that there are more. Fear that the cracks continue to grow in Swerve and Our Glory was Swerve changing characters, but Keith Lee remaining true to his. One, you know, Keith Lee being the good guy and Swerve being the bad guy. So, yeah. <laughs> it looks like that tag team might be over. And then the show concludes with a Ring of Honor television championship match Samoa Joe versus Brian Cage. Um, the battle between Samoa Joe and the NBC continued um, as yeah, Joe defended the title against Brian Cage. And they, this was a physical match as expected. Cage got in some solid offense before Joe caught him with a coquina clutch and scored a submission win. After the match, the gates of Agni would attack, which drew out the TNT champion Wardlow for the save. But instead of Wardlow standing tall, Powerhouse Hobbs would uh, appear out of nowhere and lay out the war to close the show. Now, it made sense that Tony Khan would attempt to highlight Ring of Honor in the city that is synonymous with the brand, but this was not the most electric way to end the show. And as I talked about at the top of the show, or top of this episode, <laughs> in this overall, this entire episode was kind of like a miss. Uh, Joe and Cage worked hard and delivered a quality heavyweight clash with everything after it highlighted issues with the current product. The MSC is a faction that has not been defined enough for people that care, meaning Cage was not over enough, and the Gates of Agony continue to come across as just two guys doing generic bad guy stuff. Now, Hobbs popping back up as a potential challenge to the world, though, is a good creative decision, but everything else about this, just like the show, fell flat. Um, 
Yeah, and I guess there was also supposed to be a sit-down interview between Saray and Britt Baker, but, you know, that was kind of divvied up into two separate interview segments. Uh, so it looks like Soraya is medically cleared, and we're just continuing to push things forward to what seems like the inevitable match at full gear between Britt Baker and Soraya. Also announced at full gear, Tony Storm versus Jamie Hayter for the AEW Women's Championship, or the interim one. So, glad to see these uh, haters getting this match right here, but I don't know if I trust Tony Khan to make the right decision in this instance, which would be Hater winning the title, given how over she is right now. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, AW still got some time until full year, so expect them to continue to fill out the world title number one contenders bracket, and also possibly add a tag team title match to the card as well, so we're going to go versus the acclaimed. And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode of AEW Discussion. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button down below.